I have too many whips and I can't handle it anymore. Hi friends, I have too many whips. I currently have 11 projects on the needles and that is not counting my spinning projects. I don't even have a number for my spinning projects. It's not that many, but it's more than I want. So I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed. Sometimes I'm really good at juggling a lot of projects and sometimes I feel overwhelmed by them and I feel like I need to get things done. So I have 11 projects that I'm working on and I'm thinking if I can get four done this week, then I would feel a lot better about things. So if I can get down to seven, I would love to be even less than that, but I think finishing four within the week is pretty reasonable considering that some of them are very close to done. So let me take you through what I'm gonna be working on and then I will take you along on the journey as we wrap up all of these projects. The first project that I have is like almost cheating. Uh, it is a new design and I honestly just have to bind off and seam it together. Um, I mean, if we count finishing the pattern this week too, then that is a lot more work. So this is the Bayou Bandeau. And it is a big rectangle at this point. So I decided to, oh boy, I'm about to lose stitches. Uh, I decided to block this before I bound off and seamed it because I wanted to make sure that it was exactly the measurements that I wanted. And then since then, I did that about a week ago and I have been resisting doing the bind off and seaming because that's what I do. So, First things first, let's see if I can get this done today. So here we go, project number one. This next one is another design and it's one that I actually just started a little over a week ago. So it's a relatively new whip, but I want to make sure that I keep my momentum on this and I don't want it to become a lingering whip. So this is the crew neck tee. And honestly, like right before I sat down to film, I finished the bottom ribbing. So what I need to do on this is the collar and the sleeves. Uh, the sleeves are going to be something new for me. Um, a sleeve style that I've never designed before, but I'm, I'm confident in what I want to do, but I need to make sure that what I am planning in my head actually translates to the fabric. So uh, the sleeves are going to be a little bit of a challenge for me, but I, I want to try and make sure that I don't do my normal thing of, that's gonna be hard, let me just put it away and not work on it. So I'm thinking I can get the collar picked up and done today, and then I will have to do some math and grading for the sleeves. So the sleeves might be a starting tomorrow task, but this one, I just really want to make sure that it doesn't become a lingering whip. I want to get this done this week. There is a theme emerging with my next project, and this is my Dapio sweater by Sunghee Knits. And oh look, it needs a collar and sleeves. So basically anytime I have to stop doing something and um, pick up stitches or start a new section of the pattern, it seems like I put things down and walk away from them. Now this one, I was really on a roll with this before we went away on vacation. So I will say that that is probably the main thing that got in the way of me finishing this. but. Again, it just needs a collar and it just needs some sleeves. Uh, this is a long sleeve sweater pattern, but I am running low on yarn, so I'm probably only going to do maybe an inch of the sleeve before I go into the ribbing, so they really shouldn't take a long time. So I feel confident that I can get this done if I just put my mind to it. There's going to be a lot of time spent this week picking up stitches. <laughs> And my final project that I want to get done, this one is going to be a stretch because this one has the most that still needs to be done on it. And this is a Palm Your Knits by Knitting Tipsy. And I am 
I think I'm about 15 rounds away from splitting for the sleeves, and then I have to do the whole body and the sleeves. So this one's gonna be a stretch, but I think that this one will be my only real like sitting and doing some stockinette knitting. So this will be something that I reach for a lot, whereas the other ones will have little pockets of time that I can do a collar or do a sleeve or pick up stitches or something like that. So this will be my main focus when I want to sit down and watch TV and knit or something like that. Uh, this also, I really want to get it done because I am using my own hand dyed yarn in this and I would like to be able to show off the yarn uh, as soon as possible because I'm hoping to get some things up in the shop and I want to be able to show what the yarn looks like. So this is also a priority for this week. So I think I can do it. Uh, I have a decent amount of time that I can devote to things this week. I have a couple of appointments. I have some work that I need to do. Uh, I have a lot of things around the house that need to get done, but I really, I'm feeling confident that these things can get done within a week and I'll check in and we'll see how it goes. Fingers crossed. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, this morning is going a lot faster than I expected. Um, I am done with the Bayou Bandeau. All I have to do is weave in my ends and <laughs> look at this. I have this much of an end left where I finished seaming things together at the top. And I forgot to mention before that I was adding elastic to the top of this. So I did that as well. So this is all set other than weaving in ends. And I think because all I did literally was just a sewn bind off and then seamed it together, I'm not going to block it again. So this in just a few minutes, once I weave in the ends will be done and dusted and one project off my list. Now I need to write the pattern for it. Uh, I might work on that a little bit while I'm having some lunch. And then I think, the next thing I'm going to pick up is my Doppio, I think, because I'm in the mood to just like have someone else tell me what to do instead of having to think of what I need to do. I have all of my projects just piled on this chair behind me. So I have two collars to do, one on the crew neck tee, one on the Doppio, but for this one, I would have to do some math um, and just make sure that I'm doing everything correctly for all the different sizes. I like to try and grade each section as I'm going through it and then write the pattern and then knit it. Um, I did not do that for this bandeau, but uh, So anyway, I'm just kind of <laughs> in the mood to have someone tell me what to do and how many stitches I need to pick up and that kind of thing. And then I feel like it will be it'll feel good to get this collar done. Plus, once I get the collar done, then I can see how much yarn I have left and kind of assess what I need to do for the sleeves. So yeah, let's do that. One project done-ish, on to the next. Okay, today is almost over, but I got my collar done. Um, oh. My office is in a shambles right now. I'm doing some rearranging of stuff and there's just stuff everywhere and I'm tripping over things. But anyway, collar is done. I'm making some modifications to this pattern uh, because I'm really short on yarn. So this does have, it's supposed to have a folded collar, but I just did a like regular collar, picked up stitches, did my ribbing, and then instead of uh, doubling the length and folding it over. I just found off. Um, I'm also doing just a regular bind off and pattern on this instead of doing a sewn bind off. I just felt like it. I felt like doing something quick, uh, when I was doing the body, uh, ribbing and I'm just going to continue with that throughout the whole thing. So now I just have the sleeves left and like I said, I'm low on yarn. So I don't think I'm going to get to full sleeves and 
I don't really feel like playing yarn chicken. So I think what I'm gonna do is probably, I think maybe two inches. Hmm, there's two inches of ribbing. So I can't decide if I wanna do an inch or two inches of a sleeve and then two inches of ribbing. If I do two and two, it'll take it, it'll be more like a, a long short sleeve, if that makes sense. Um, so we'll see. I don't think I'm gonna do that till tomorrow. I think today's project is gonna be some easy stockinette knitting on my Pommier Knits. Uh, I got a little distracted today. Started reading my book a little bit while I went for a walk on the treadmill and so good. Um, I'm reading The One by John Mars, or actually I just finished it because I ended up having to stop and read. Um, I was trying to knit while I was reading and I was just sitting in a funny position and I was just so into the book. So I just decided to put everything down and finish my book. I was at like 88% and it's not a super long book. So I decided to just finish it. It was so good. Highly recommend. Um, and now I'm just doing some tidying up. Decided to give this a try on. Make sure that everything fit and was laying okay. Because I know sometimes, um, you know, when things are meant to have a folded collar and then you don't do a folded collar, sometimes it can lay a little funny. But I think it's okay. Um, and that's it. I think this is probably going to be my last check-in for today. Uh, I have... A bunch of things to do tomorrow but I think it will be a slightly more exciting day. Today was just a day at home and things didn't go as planned but tomorrow I have lots of things to do and I will see you then. Good morning friends. Um, okay so I knit, let's see, sorry I don't, I'm not prepared this morning so I'm sorry if this is wobbly. Um, I should have figured out what I was gonna hold up before I came on here. Oh my gosh, where is my stitch marker? There it is. Okay, I knit this much on my palm your knits last night and I am five rounds, I think, away from splitting for the sleeve. So that's gonna be my priority for right now. Shandy's very excited that I'm talking to the camera. Um, so that's gonna be my priority for right now is just getting to sleeve separation before I switch to a different task. Um, but right now I have an appointment that I need to get to, so. And I think somebody has to go outside. So I'm gonna take care of that and I will talk to you in a little bit. Okay, today is not going as planned, but that's okay. I have knit three rows. <laughs> rounds on my pommier knits. Um, that being said, there are a lot of stitches in every single round, but um, I've only knit three, still not a sleeve separation. Um, I'm having one of those moments where like I knit for what feels like forever and I'm like, okay, that has to have been like 17 rounds at least by now. And then I check in and I've done one, um, but that's okay. We're almost there. I will get there tonight. But for right now, I have an appointment in about 30 minutes uh, and I was just doing a little bit of tidying in my office and I'm feeling really motivated to finish it up. This place needs a good scrub, it needs a good organizing. Um, we were just traveling and it became kind of a dumping ground for all my projects and I didn't really like put everything away as I should have so um, I am going to deal with some stuff that I have to deal with and clean up and then this place is gonna get a nice clean uh, and it's gonna get vacuumed and clean up all the pet hair that's been accumulating while we were traveling and yeah. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to sit in my lovely little chair and I'm going to deal with this. This is a problem. Um, some of these are empty project bags, some of them are full project bags, some of them are projects that are not in project bags. Um, at least it's all in one spot, but it is one heck of a disaster of a spot. So I'm going to try and consolidate this and get some things organized uh, in the next 30 minutes and then that will help me clear out some space in the yarn closet and after my appointment I can vacuum and finish up everything in here.
looking better. Um, sorry if you can see cat hair flying through the air. I have been uh, stirring up a lot of stuff today. But this is looking a lot better, feeling a lot better. Now, if I'm being honest, um, the four projects that I'm working on in this vlog are not in this basket. So um, it would be a bit more uh, overflowing if those were added on top. But since those are my priority for the week and I'm hoping to get them done within the week, um, I'm leaving them out and about around the house. Um, and yeah, I, this feels better. I have a pile of stuff around me right now. I have yarn that has to go away from various things that I've frogged. I have a lot of needles that have to get put away. Um, I'm actually like also looking at some other needles and hooks that are around me that have just like not been put away from past projects. So I have a lot of that to do. And I have, um, project bags that have to get put back away, folded up nicely, put away. So yeah, on to the next thing. I have about 20 minutes left. Um, I think I'm going to do the last little bit of this cleaning. Um, and I'm going to have to move around a lot for this next bit. So I'm going to stop filming, but, uh, then I'm just going to try and do those last couple rounds before my appointment. So let's get this stuff put away and on to the next thing. I did it. I made it through. I'm ready to split for sleeves. My nose is really itchy. Ugh, I'm done. Well, I'm not done. I'm ready to split for the sleeves. I'm done with this increased section. There were just so many stitches in every round in this section because it's fingering weight. Um, so, ready, oh my gosh. Um, I just almost got myself in the eye. Ready to split for sleeves. I'm gonna go get some food though because I am starving and the sleeve splitting will happen after dinner. Goodbye. Today's not going as planned. Um, I did get one sleeve done on my Dapio which is great, but it took a lot longer than I had anticipated it taking. So I still have to do the second sleeve. Um, I had uh, set higher expectations for myself today than I think I could handle. Um, I think I just kind of planned like 12 hours of stuff in like four hours of time. So I'm going to go for a quick walk and have some lunch and then I have a video to film. I have finished object pictures to take. Um, and I'm trying to get to my very first knit night tonight. I've never been to one and I'm trying to go to my very first one. I'm kind of nervous. Uh, so I guess that is where I will work on my second sleeve of my Dapio. Um, yeah, I was hoping to have that done before knit night so I could take my Palmier Knits to knit night and just work through that. But maybe I will take my Palmier Knits to knit night. Maybe I'll do my Dapio when I get home. It's like a knit afternoon. It's from three to six. So it's not really like a knit night. Um, so maybe I'll be able to do my sleeve when I get home tonight. I don't know. Anyway. I'm gonna go for a quick walk. I need to get my body moving. And then, um, yeah, I'll check in later. Probably not gonna do much knitting for a few hours, but I will check in maybe before and after knit night. Okay. I'm wearing clothes. My video is filmed. Um, I've eaten lunch. I went for a walk. I'm about to go take finished object photos for my, um, fluff around and find out sweater test. And then what the heck time is it? I don't even know. It's almost 1.30. I have to leave at 2.30. What do I want to do between now and then? Do I want to sit down and knit a little bit? Do I want to pick up my sleeve? Maybe I will. Maybe I'll work on my second Dapio sleeve. Okay, here's the plan. I have pictures to take. I've got to pick up my second Dapio sleeve and work on that a little bit, get a few rounds in. I'm going to take my Palmier Knits 
to knit night. And then I'm going to finish my tapio sleeve when I get home later tonight. Um, that's the goal. <laughs> we'll see if it actually happens. <sighs> I wish I had more, sh more to show today. Also, when I was just filming my um, podcast, I was holding up my crew neck tee and I was thinking, what am I thinking? <laughs> um, I, I honestly do not know if I can get these sleeves done this week in addition to all the other stuff that I want to get done. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I'm just nervous about how long these are going to take and how um, much thinking I have to do for them. You know, I'm so nervous. Uh, I don't like, I don't mind doing short rows, but I don't like grading short rows. It can get very confusing and mess with my brain a little bit. <sighs> I'm nervous. However, while I have had pretty busy days yesterday and today, tomorrow and Friday should be pretty open for the most part. I have a meeting on Friday in the middle of the day that um, is pretty important. But other than that, I should have some time to devote to these. <sighs> Do we think I can do this? I was really confident when I started this vlog and now I'm starting to lose my confidence. Can I do it? Can I make it through? Maybe if I stop talking to you and I go actually do what I said I was gonna do. Okay, I'll check in later, bye. Good morning, it's done. Um, I finished my second sleeve last night after I got home from knit night. And then this morning with my coffee, I just wove in all my ends and I love it. I'm actually pretty glad that I decided to do the short sleeves. Um, I really like them this way and I like this length of the sleeve. It's like just um, shy of my elbow and I really, really like it. So this one is done and it's about to go get blocked right now. And last night at knit night, I knit about an inch and a half on my palm your knits and I left it downstairs and I don't feel like going to get it. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to film this quick check in. Today is going to be uh, probably mostly a pajama day. Um, I have some dyeing that I want to get done. I um, am planning to do my crew neck tee um, collar maybe pick up for a sleeve. I'm avoiding that one because I'm just like nervous of the grading that I have to do, which is silly. It's not going to be that bad. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to show this to you and then I'm going to go get a refill of my coffee and head downstairs and do a little bit of um, prep for a dye day. And then we'll see what knitting I get done. I'll check in with you later. Hi friends. Uh, so yesterday got away from me and the clip that I just, that you just saw, uh, is the only thing I filmed yesterday. Um, I dyed some yarn, which I am just, um, giving a little fluff right now and getting like resituated on my drying rack. Um, was working on developing some new colors and, um, recreating some old, I say old like it, like they've been around for a while, but some recipes to make sure that I, you know, they were easily replicatable and I had every, like all the measurements and stuff that I wanted. So that was fun. Uh, it was a pretty successful day. Um, and yeah, other than that, I tried to do some cleaning around the house, but I got kind of overwhelmed pretty quickly. And uh, then I spent some time doing businessy things. Um, basically, let's show you where I'm at. Uh, I have only worked on my palm your knits 
And this stitch marker is what I put in when I um, went to knit night the other night. So I have gotten this far since then. I would say that's about like four inches that I've done. Uh, I have about five inches underneath the, uh, like along the side seam. And I know I said that I was thinking of stopping the body and going to work on the sleeves, but I've really just needed some stockinette. And so I've been just cruising along on this. Um, it's been all I really wanted to work on the past day or so. So I have about another inch to go before I start my ribbing, I think. I'm going to hold this up against my last uh, palm your knits because I know I like the length of that. So we're getting there. I am starting to lose faith in myself that I will get everything done by like within a week. But we have two projects down, two to go. This one's going really well. It's just kind of time consuming because there are a lot of stitches. I still have not touched my crew neck tee this week. Um, I was thinking of working on it today, but again, I just like really want some stockinette uh, and to not have to think about the grading. I know I'm putting that off and I know this is like classic MC. I have to do something hard and so I just pretend it doesn't exist, but this is my blog and I can do what I want with it. Right? <laughs> anyway, I will try and make sure I check in more today than I did yesterday. I have a, I have some cleaning that I want to do around the house. I'm going to go for a walk, which I think I might do right now, like warm me up a little bit, get my blood pumping and get ready to do that cleaning. And then I have a meeting just after lunch. So I'll be doing some knitting during the meeting. And then... Um, I think I might have like a little spa night, do like a face mask, call it, call my night a little bit earlier than usual, do a mask, take an early shower, get myself all cozy, and maybe watch a movie with my husband tonight. That sounds like a good plan. Okay, I'm gonna go eat some breakfast. It's way beyond breakfast time but I'm gonna go finally eat something and then go for my walk and I will check in with you in a little bit. Hello, you have not moved, but I have. I am now wearing a slightly nicer sweatshirt than what I was wearing before that was covered in paint and stuff. Um, and I, let's see, what have I done today? Not a ton, but um, I went for a walk. That gave me a little bit of energy. I had some lunch and then I had a meeting, which was great. And that was very um, motivating and gave me a lot of energy as well. The sun came out, that's given me a lot of energy. So let's talk about where I am. Um, I moved my stitch marker right after I talked to you last. And so I was right here. And it's curling, so it's hard to see. But basically, I got about an inch done, which is what I needed. So I have compared this to, I mean, I measured it too, to compare to the pattern. But I've compared this to my original, my first palm units. And um, it's actually a tiny bit, it's measuring a tiny bit longer than my original one, which is fine with me. Um, so I'm ready for the ribbing. I'm so excited that we're here, <laughs> that we're at this point already, ready for the ribbing. Uh, I still have the sleeves to do. And yeah, I'm hoping, I don't know if it's gonna happen, but there's a part of me that's hoping I can finish the ribbing tonight. I don't know if I'll be able to finish it and bind off. The bind off might take a little bit of time, but I'm hoping I can finish the ribbing tonight. And then, Maybe the sleeves could be finished tomorrow. I still have, I haven't touched my crew neck tee at all. So I need to do the, the collar and the sleeves on that. And yeah, this vlog might end up being eight days instead of seven, <laughs> <laughs> we'll 
we'll see. We'll see what we have to do. I don't want it to be a failure and only get three out of the four things done, but yeah, we might have to make it eight days instead of seven. Anyway, I am going to make use of this motivation that I'm having right now, and I'm going to do a little bit of cleaning, a little bit of organizing, and then I am calling it early today and giving myself a little bit of an early start to my weekend. I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna knit and I'm gonna catch up on some YouTube stuff and I'm gonna do a face mask and then my husband's gonna come home and I'm gonna ask him to pour me a drink because he's a better bartender than I am. And we're gonna watch a movie and it's gonna be great. So, uh, I almost said take care of you and I'll see you next time. That's not what I wanna do right now. I'm not signing off yet. Uh, I will check in in a little bit and we'll see how far I get on this ribbing today. I'm gonna keep this as my focus for right now. and We'll see how far I get. Super quick check-in because I'm about to go take a shower and get ready for bed, but I am halfway through my ribbing. I didn't even get close to being all the way through, but um, my husband ended up knitting a little bit on my ribbing for me. He did fantastic, it was amazing. Um, I'm gonna go take care of my hair and shower and um, get ready for bed. I'm too tired to knit anymore. So the ribbing will get finished tomorrow along with hopefully the sleeves. We'll see, but I will see you tomorrow. Good night. Good morning, friends. Um, okay, I have to make this quick because I'm about to run out, but I'm halfway through my ribbing on my pommier knits, like I mentioned. Um, I wonder once I get a little bit farther if we will be able to see the spot that my husband uh, did a little bit of knitting. We'll see. Um, also, today's gonna be pretty busy. I will see how much I can take you around with me. I'm really hoping to get this done today. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but the ribbing at least will definitely get done today. I don't know about these sleeves. Um, yeah, I'm about to head out to get an oil change very boring um, and me driving means that I can't knit in the car. I can't be the passenger and knit. Uh, and then we're gonna go to a yarn shop um, out over to Knit New Haven. And then I have a surprise party for one of my good friends and I'm very excited about that. I haven't seen her in a really long time and I'm super, super excited to go see her even though it means that I will not have knitting time this evening. Um, we almost had a kitty visitor for a second, but he just ran away. I was gonna grab him and have him say hi, but he just ran away. Okay, I gotta go. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay, we are ready to head out. I had one of those days where I swear I tried on like everything in my closet and then just like couldn't figure out what I wanted to wear, nothing was working together, but I went with my Dapio sweater, which honestly was what I had originally wanted to wear, so I don't know why I veered away from it, and I'm wearing these <laughs> olive colored pants that I own, um, and it works perfectly with my Dapio sweater, so I'm very excited. We are about to head out, head to Knit New Haven, and then head to a birthday party. I finished my bottom ribbing on my palm ear knits. I'm binding off right now. I'm gonna bring that in the car to bind off and I have the sleeve stitches for one of the sleeves put onto needles so I'm ready to go with that. Um, I'm getting a little tired of ribbing but we're gonna power through and I don't think I'm gonna finish it today but I'm gonna get as far on one sleeve as I possibly can and we'll see what tomorrow brings. This is definitely feeling like it's gonna have to be an eight day challenge instead of a seven day challenge. but. We're getting close. We're getting lots of stuff done. Good morning, friends. Um, it is so late in the morning. We got home so late last night. We um, slept in, and then my husband and I did a little bit of reading this morning, which was really nice. Um, I'm about halfway through my sleep, my first sleep on my palm ear knits. Um, I will check in in a little bit once I'm feeling a bit more awake and human. I'm probably going to finish the sleep and then check in a little bit later um, because right now I need some coffee and I need to eat some breakfast and I need to like wash my face, put on some clothes, feel like a person. <laughs> Bye.
It's done. Okay, so I still have to weave in ends, but um, it's done. Everything is done, everything is bound off. I just have to weave in ends while we're watching the game and block it. Um, I've been having like a really rough day. Uh, I mean, you can tell my hair is wet. I just decided like in the middle of the day to take a bath and do like a spa day and um, wash my hair and do a face mask and like all kinds of stuff just to try and like cheer myself up a little bit. I've just been having a bad day. Um, and I don't really know why, but I finished this and that feels really good. So now it's time to work on my crew neck tee. This is the only thing left out of my list of four things that I wanted to get done. So I started with 11. I now have eight works in progress, which feels good already, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's how that math works. Anyway, I really wanna get this done. It's not gonna get done tonight. I mean, I still have the collar and two sleeves, but I wanna get the collar done tonight. How about that? I think that's doable, because it needs 13 rounds. Um, so I think the collar, getting the collar done is doable. We'll see if I can maybe pick up one of the sleeves. I know I'm gonna have to do math for the sleeves and I'm afraid of it, but we'll see. We'll see what I can get done. I'm gonna start with the collar because I only have, um, a small amount of yarn left from the current skein that I'm working on, so I think that'll be perfect. And then we'll see how far I get on everything else. Wish me luck. Sorry I didn't check in as much as I had wanted to today. Like I said, I'm just, I'm feeling really funky. So, uh, I don't know if I said this, but it is Super Bowl Sunday. So we will be watching the Super Bowl and having lots of yummy food, and I think that will help me to feel a little bit better. Um, but I am going to go grab my computer, because I have some math to do before doing this collar. And then we'll see what happens next. I will try and... Um, update you, but I make no promises. I will definitely be making another update in the morning to wrap up this vlog and um, see how far we got. See if I can somehow maybe finish these sleeves tomorrow. I don't know if it's going to happen. I doubt it. I'm not hopeful, but we'll see how far we can get on all these projects. And any progress is really, really helpful at this point. I'm feeling much less overwhelmed with my whips. So... That's good. Okay. Who are you rooting for in the game tonight? I think I'm rooting for the 49ers. I don't really care about either team, but to be honest, I'm a little bit tired of Patrick Mahomes. Sorry. Um, like, it's not that he's not talented. It's just the same thing over and over again. Like, the constant winning. It gets boring. I don't know. Anyway, um, I hope that whoever you're rooting for wins, although that doesn't make any sense. Uh, and I hope there are good commercials, and I wish you lots of yummy snacks. I will check in later. <laughs> Bye. Good morning, friends. Um, okay, so if I'm being honest, yesterday and today I have just felt like poop. Um, so... Yeah, I haven't been filming very much uh, because I just want to sit in my sweats and knit a little bit and mostly stare at the wall. But I got my color finished on my crew neck tee and I have picked up a sleeve and done the short rows. I am not sure if I want to do more short rows. I kind of want to bring it down a little bit more, but I'm also... A little afraid to uh, because I don't want to like overdo it I don't want to overshoot it but I do kind of want to bring it down just the tiniest bit more I think and then I will be on the right track with the sleeve I did already knit this sleeve once and it was hilariously bad I should have shown it but um, I started ripping it out right away uh, but yeah I think maybe 
two more rows. Two more rows feels right, I think. I'll do two more rows of short rows, and then um, I'm gonna do uh, about another two inches on the sleeve between the, well, maybe a little bit more. How long do I want these sleeves? I don't even know. No, maybe I'll be jumping right into um, the ribbing. Yeah. We'll see. I hate this part because I am someone that really does not like stopping to try things on. But I know I need to, especially when I'm designing. But anyway, this is how much I have left of this ball of yarn. And I doubt that it's going to get me through this sleeve, but we will see how far I can get. And I'm going to have to wind up some new yarn soon, but we are almost there. I do feel confident that I can finish this today. I will keep you posted. Um, I'm starving, so I'm gonna go have some breakfast and then maybe finish up the sleeve and check in with you when it's bound off. One sleeve down and one to go. I am really happy with how this turned out. This was pretty much exactly what I was hoping would happen with the short row shaping that I did. I'm so excited. I'm really glad. Um, I was a little nervous. I have to say I was nervous before putting this on, but it is doing just what I wanted. So I can't wait. Now I'm feeling like a little bit refreshed and revived. Um, a little bit ready to tackle this second sleeve. I'm pretty confident I can get it done today. I, um, I just got like a burst of energy after having kind of a gross day. And I think I'm gonna do a little bit of tidying up in my office and just cleaning up some of my mess, organizing th some things, maybe going through my yarn stash a little bit because I'm planning on um, doing another yarn stash check-in soon. Oh my gosh, I'm so, so happy with how this sleeve turned out. I was so worried. I think I was like subconsciously like torturing myself over this. So I'm gonna do a little bit of listening to my audiobook and cleaning and um, then I'm gonna pick up this second sleeve a little bit later. This one took not much time at all once I figured out what I needed to do. So this one should be done today and we will have four objects done in eight days and I am so excited. I will check in later. Um, it's probably gonna be pretty dark by the time I finish this so I might do a quick check-in and then wrap up the whole video in the morning. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling revived. I'm feeling better. We did it. Almost, we're almost there. We're gonna do it. It's gonna be amazing. Yay! We did it! We did it, friends. We did it. I am done. Okay, so I have some ends to weave in on this, but whatever. I finished it. I finished my crew neck tee. I'm so excited. The sleeves are doing what I wanted. Um, I cannot wait to get this blocked because I think it's just going to sit a little bit better um, <clears throat> around the arms and the neck. Um, I can't wait to get it blocked. We did it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's recap. Look at all the stuff that we did this week. New design. Bayou Bandeau. Done. Long-standing whip, Dapio sweater, done. Uh, recent cast on, but still lots of fun. Pomier knits, done. And another new design, the crew neck tee, done. Oh my gosh, this felt good. This was hard. Um, it was really hard to get all of these things done this week. Um, some needed a lot more work than others. Some were a lot farther along than others, um, like this. Palm your knits was not very far along at all. Other things had just finishing that needed to be done, but honestly, it felt so good to get everything done this week. We technically went into eight days, um, but that's okay. That's fine. I still think that's an accomplishment, getting four projects wrapped up and done within eight days. Um, it felt really good. I now have seven active whips, which feels so much more manageable than it did before. Um, the only problem is that now uh, all of my active whips are at hard parts. <laughs> so I did everything that needed, like everything that had easy stuff to do, I did. And now everything that needs hard stuff is left. 
so I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that. What should I do for my next vlog? Um, I'm thinking of trying to use the oldest yarn that I have in my stash maybe for my next vlog. Um, I do want to try and do another vlog of getting some more whips off my plate, but um, like I said, nothing is at an easy spot right now, so we'll see. Anyway, thank you for coming along on this journey with me. This was a lot of fun and there were highs, there were lows. <laughs> Um, I definitely had a few days this week where I felt like garbage, so sorry for having a lot more footage on some days than others, but that's life, right? Uh, so anyway, until the next one, take care of you, and I will see you later. Bye!